Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a peaceful afternoon in Toyland. Too peaceful for Noddy. Oh, Nobody had any work for him to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Noddy. I've no jobs today. I'm baking for this evening's cake tasting contest. A cake tasting contest? I should like to taste some cakes. Well, you can enter, Noddy. But you'll have to pay two sixpences. I shall earn two sixpences. Uh, please may I carry your bags? I'll only charge you sixpence. Oh, I've carried these heavy bags all the way from town. You should have some help. And I don't need any help. <laughs> oh, you're right, Mrs Tubby. You don't need any help. Good afternoon, Mr. Jumbo. May I drive you into town? No, thank you. I'm enjoying my stroll. I shall only charge you sixpence. Oh, I do not wish to ride in your car. Please, Mr. Jumbo. I want to walk. Please. No, I won't go. I want to stay here. I shan't move for a week. Kindly leave me alone. Oh, surely somebody would like me to work for them. I'll be happy to help you count your money, Mr. Sparks. Oh, I'm quite good at adding up, you see, but uh, rather poor at taking away. Well, I shall have to find somebody to look after all my children. Excuse me, Mr. Sparks. Have you any jobs for me to do this afternoon? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Would you like to look after my children? I'll pay you two sixpences. Two sixpences? Oh, yes. I'll look after them. They're all at the cafe having ice creams. Leave them to me, Sally Skittle. Please bring them home at five o'clock, Noddy. Oh, keep still, children. I must make sure you're all here. Oh, let me see. Uh, uh, Steve Skittle, Sam Skittle, Sydney Skittle, Shirley Skittle. I'm not Shirley Skittle. I'm Shirley Skittle. And I'm Sheila Skittle. I see. Who are you? I'm Sam Skittle. You've counted me. That's Susan Skittle, and that's Sylvie Skittle. And I'm Steve Skittle. You haven't counted him yet. Well, you have now. <laughs> and that's Sylvie. Right and that's oh, Steve. dear. I wish it was peaceful uh, again. Hello, Noddy. How are you looking after Sally Skittles, the children? <laughs> oh, what a fun! But clockwork clown, how can I keep them happy? That's what the clowns are for. Throw me some ice cream balls, the children. <laughs> yes, well, it's been a great fun, Noddy, but now I must hurry off and get ready for the cake tasting contest. Hoopla! Hello, Noddy! <laughs> Is this a party? No, Martha Monkey. It's not a party. I'm looking after Sally Skittle's children. But I'm not sure how you're supposed to look after children. Oh, it's easy. Take them for a walk in the woods. What a oh, good idea. Oh. And play oh, lots yeah, of yeah, games. Yeah, I'll come too, shall I? <laughs> I'll bring my old dressing up box. <laughs> now we're all dressed up. Let's play hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Yeah. I'll hide first. Close your eyes and count up to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come in, ready or not. I can't find Martha anywhere. Can you see her, Stuart? No, I can't. I can't see her neither. Where is she? Has anybody found Martha Monkey yet? No. We can't see her anywhere. She's run away. Perhaps she's lost. No, no, she can't have gone far. Remember, she was wearing a policeman's helmet. We'll soon find her. Is going on, Mr. Plod? Noddy, it is against the law to thump a police officer's helmet with a stick. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Plod. I thought you were Martha Monkey. Martha Monkey? 
Do I look like Martha Monkey? Your helmet does. Martha was wearing a helmet. They're playing hide and seek in fancy dress. You see, what, what happened was... Martha, yes, 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 yes. All right, no, 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 thank you. Highlights! Now then, I do believe you. A police officer learns to spot the truth. The question remains, where is Martha Monkey? We really don't know, Mr. Plod. She seems to have vanished. I see. In that case, a trained police officer knows just what we must do. What must we do, Mr. Plod? We must search the wood. Now, follow me. This is Big Ear's toadstool house. I know that, Noddy. I'm trying to spot these things. But look, the helmet Martha Monkey was wearing. Hmm. Clearly, the missing monkey is no longer wearing that helmet. Perhaps she's dropped it. Perhaps she fell over and hurt herself. Or perhaps she's wandering about, hopelessly lost. One moment. Perhaps we shall never see Martha again. Uh, Noddy. Or perhaps she's done something wrong and she's hiding inside Big Ear's house. Stop! I've heard quite enough perhapses for one day. I intend to surround the house. Then I shall gain entry. Then I will see... Um, what will you see? Um, I'll see... What's what? Mm, mm, mm. This cake is delicious. They all are. Thank you, Martha. But um, which, I wonder, should I enter for the cake tasting contest? Do not... Move. I told you not to move. Is Martha safe? Has she hurt herself? <laughs> of course not. Oh, oh there, there you are, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. We thought you were lost. Have you done something wrong, Martha? Are you hiding? Don't be silly, Noddy. I was walking through the wood and met Big Ears. He said he'd been baking lots of cakes and he asked me if I'd like to taste them. So, of course, I said... Yes, please. We still can't decide which cake to enter for the contest. Perhaps our visitors might like to help. Cake? Oh, oh, yes, yes, please. Yes. Yes. Phew, it's five o'clock. I'm so glad. Time to go home, Skittles. I'm sorry, Big Ears. They've eaten all your cakes. So I see. <laughs> oh, well. I dare say Mrs. Tubby will again win the contest for best cake. <laughs> she always does. There are your sixpences, Noddy. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, Mr. Sparks. I hope my children have been good. Oh, yes. They've been... Oh, oh thank you very much, Noddy. That's all right. I enjoyed... Oh. Come along, Mr. Sparks, very quietly. There's Noddy. He's fast asleep, so that's why he wasn't at the cake tasting contest. He'd really love Mrs. Tubby's best cake in the contest. Oh, that is kind, Tessie. After all, you won it. Oh, I'd have shared it with Noddy anyway. He looks so peaceful. Oh, <sighs> I get cream on my hand. A cake. My own secret cake to taste. <laughs> and I didn't even have to spend two sixpences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy. his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little And Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy, Noddy.